Welcome to the Art Chemist Project, bringing chemistry and art together through generous support provided by Art Bridges, the Anthony J. and Susan E. Paparella Family Foundation, and the Hoover Foundation. In this short tutorial, I'll teach you how to make beautiful creations using baking soda, vinegar, and food coloring or liquid watercolor paint. The supplies you'll need for this project are a plate, vinegar, baking soda, liquid watercolor, and gloves. The first step is really important, put on your gloves. Next, go ahead and set some other things to the side. Open up your bag of baking soda and pour out a little bit onto the plate. You want to spread it out evenly across the surface. That looks perfect. You can see here that I actually used the whole bag, which was way too much. But part of the joy of science is experimentation, so I'm not too mad. When you're done pouring your baking soda, drip as much or as little of the liquid watercolor or food coloring as you would like over the surface of your baking soda. I used my paper as a guide to figure out the surface area for the color I was dripping on. Next, I spritzed with vinegar. You'll notice that it's starting to bubble up. However, because I used so much baking soda, I actually did need to open it up and pour it. I would suggest just using a very small amount. Work quickly here. Cover the surface of your bubbling baking soda with your paper. You can see the final product on the left side. Now, I'm going to press it back down now that all of the bubbles have subsided and the baking soda is in a more thick layer. I pulled it up and you can see it on the left. However, now I'm moving it around as part of my experiment. This is because I used too much baking soda. If you used only a little, you probably wouldn't get this effect. But I actually kind of liked working this way. And the reason why was because I could create a raised up texture on the surface, or I could move it around with my hands and make something that looked really fluid and beautiful. I'm taking one of my other prints that didn't work so well and I'm putting it back in. Now I scraped it along the side because I wanted to see just how much texture I could get. Notice that I got really cool texture and pattern. Depending on your ratio of materials, you could get something like this or totally different. That's part of what I loved about this experiment. Whatever you get, we'd love to see it in our community art installation. Special thanks again goes out to Art Bridges, the Anthony J. and Susan E. Paparella Family Foundation, and the Hoover Foundation for making the Art Chemist Project possible here at the Canton Museum of Art.